I'm very nervous, so. Don't be nervous, you're fine. I'm so it's just nervous. Me. This is like, okay. Come on. Okay. We'll do this together. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Safi Sprocket and welcome back to the channel. This week we are joined with presenter Susie Perry, who was the first female presenter in motorcycles. Wow, what an incredible achievement. You must feel so incredibly proud of yourself. First of all, let me say you've got the perfect surname for this industry, <laughs> hasn't she, technically? Um, yeah, 25 years ago I started, back in 1997, and the world was so different then in terms of motorbikes, motorsport generally. So I walked into the paddock and I was the only girl and it was just men everywhere and you know, life and the culture was so different back in the 90s. It's changed a lot to now. So to what made you want to get into the, the motorbike industry? Like what was the catalyst for driving uh, you into that? Well, I, I loved riding. Um, I loved the feeling of freedom that a bike gives you. And I adored the racing, and I still do to this day, exactly. I'm still screaming at the television when I'm watching it, screaming at the pit wall, you know, wherever I am. And I think it was just that, that kind of passion for racing, that love, and that desire to see what's going on behind the helmet. So all the technical stuff is great, but I want to know the emotions, the psychology behind why riders do what they do, how they come back from things, and just the whole thing for me was a complete spectacle, and it doesn't change. It's still exactly the same all these years later. Amazing. So one of the, the main questions that I would really like to ask you is obviously on my channel we focus a lot about new riders and getting into the industry and obviously as you mentioned the motorcycle industry has changed an, a, a great deal in the last 20 years. You know there are more female riders out there, we are seeing like a huge trend in the ride of female riders but as someone who started off in an industry where there was virtually no women whatsoever what kind of advice would you want to give women today to encourage them to, you know, get behind the handlebars? I think if you've, you know, if you've got a sort of inkling for wanting to get on a bike, mm -hmm. um, talk to people and do your research. But the feeling that you get of freedom is like nothing else. I ride horses as well, which I also oh, love. Amazing. And I can sort of compare it to riding a horse. Um, it's just you and your bike and you, and you feel as one. And you, it's also a little bit like when you first pass your driving test when you're young and you get that feeling of freedom being able to go out without your parents taking you anywhere. Or So for me, yeah, I, I, think, I think it's freedom. And I think there's loads of girls now riding, as mm -hmm. you say. And it's not a usual to see a girl on a bike and I think you know girls will give you a hand or help you out with anything as as indeed will guys but you know for me I think there's a special place in hell for women that don't help other women so um, <laughs> uh, I find in this industry that women are very very friendly and very open to you know giving a bit of advice so is there any point in your career where you might have felt like you didn't have the confidence to take on a ta like a task or a challenge, or have you ever had kind of a moment where you felt a sat crisis back? of confidence? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Doing something new, to me, I always get butterflies, I always get a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I got the Formula One job for the BBC, I was absolutely terrified. I was in bits. So that was, that was very difficult to pull it all together and work through that. I think it took me about a season to feel comfortable there. Um, so it did take quite a long time. But yeah, still, I don't really get it with... MotoGP, I think because I've been doing it for so long mm -hmm. and the, the gang that I work with, you know, I mean, I was interviewing Neil 20 years ago when he was winning a world championship and I know them so well, we're like a family yeah. and we just all love it, you know, we just have great time. But anything new for me, I always get a little bit like, <laughs> I, oh, yeah, I get a little bit nervous, this? especially the night before whenever yeah. I'm going to be do, like doing a motorbike trip, I always get, you know, that, that anxious feeling. And, but, you know, my, my dad gave me a really good piece of advice when I started out. He said, take a deep breath and just be yourself. Yes. And that's all you can do? <laughs> I suppose so. Has there ever been like a moment where you've had something to do where you've just found you couldn't do it because you've been so nervous? Because I know like speaking to a lot of women in the bike industry, especially when they're going to get their license and they're new on the road, sometimes, especially it's, it's been a question I've been asked recently, it's they've wanted to go on a trip, they've planned the trip or they've planned an event to go to and then last minute they've ended up checking out because they're just, they feel so nervous or scared or for whatever reason, you know, that's... You know, what kind of coping strategies would you recommend well, for them to, yeah. to okay. get on the bike and get on the road? We all have an inner chimp. <laughs> it's the chimp paradox here. We, we all talk about it yeah. a lot um, in our gang here. And we, if you 
if I walk out on a stage and I think, oh, they, they don't like me, it's too dark, I can't remember what I'm going to say here, what was I going to... You're already kind of bringing in a negative mm. um, policy, if you like. And what you need to do is you need to smack that chimp down and you need to take a deep breath and, and go out and be positive and you will reap the rewards from that. And I know sometimes it's difficult to be positive because you have got this negative side going, you're this and you don't look like this and you don't feel like this and they're laughing at you or what, whatever it's saying to you, mm -hmm. you. It's finding a way of controlling that and going, you know what, you are positive, positive chimp back and enjoying it. Yes. I, think, I think enjoying something is the key. And you, and you miss out if you don't, go for it. I mean, it's normal to be nervous and I think it's good to be nervous mm -hmm. and then just take the extra step of doing it and then you reap the rewards of yes. the pleasure and, and the memories that you'll make. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm not a psychologist at all, but that's <laughs> what I try to do. That's fantastic. Okay, closing question. What's your favourite motorcycle? <sighs> oh, that is a good question. <laughs> that is a good question. God, I could go right off piste here and say <laughs> Elvis's Harley, the oh, elusive okay. Harley that Elvis Presley rode. That would that would be my favourite. I'd like to see that. But aside of that, I'd probably go to the Triumph in The Great Escape. Steve mm. McQueen, iconic. Amazing. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to interview you. Oh, it's a lovely to meet Brilliant. you. So that's all we have time for today. If you do want to see more great bike content, don't forget to hit subscribe. I do post new videos every single Sunday, 6 p.m. So until next week, my name's Safi Sprocket. And, and I'm really jo lovely. <laughs> and I'm joined with Susie Perry, and we'll see you guys later.